All right, how you doing? I'm Ryan McCann, and I'm going to talk to you how to stretch before a big football game. When you're getting ready to play a football game, you want to stretch. And you want to stretch every part of your body because it's very vital because football is a contact sport and it's a very physical game. And you want to make sure all parts of your body are loose and stretched out. It'll also make you more in tune with your body. So when you're running down the sidelines trying not to step out, you will be much more in touch with yourself, your body, and your prevent injury. What I'd normally do is do some laps, not necessarily laps, but kind of jog, get the blood flowing. And then, um, you know, start with a, just a nice stretch down the middle. Let it hang there for a good 30 seconds. Move to the right leg, good 30 seconds. Keep it nice and stretched. Uh, you don't want to bounce, just kind of nice and easy. Gradually increase the stretch as you go. Then I'd come up, lean back, get the groin stretched nice and, nice and good. You want to do it a few times. Um, don't want to be stretched until it hurts. Just a good stretch, what you want to feel. Move up, stretch the back. Get everything loosened up. Take it through the legs. You want to go through the uh, quad stretch, both legs. Get up on something and do a nice calf and Achilles stretch. Going to be doing a lot of work with your legs today. You want to move it up to the upper body. You want to get the arms stretched. As a quarterback, you're gonna spend a little extra time stretching the arm. You're gonna stretch the rear deltoid of your shoulder. You wanna bring it up and over. You're gonna stretch the underarm, the lat, work it into the tricep, and then you wanna pull it behind your back. Grab your elbow, kind of full little stretch in the front. Get it nice and loose. Get it nice and loose. Then when you grab the football, just start playing a nice, easy catch, nice and close. Everything starts slow and you kind of increase as you get warm and get loose. It's very, very important as a football player to stretch your neck, especially as a defensive player, you're going to be taking some hits and hitting people. So you want to slowly stretch your neck like this, both ways, kind of get it nice and loose. And then preparing for a football game when you're doing weight training, your, your coach will have you doing a lot of neck stretches and neck exercises where you're pressing against and you want to have a good strong neck because it's a vital part of your body, the spine. Don't forget a very important part of your body to stretch, especially in football because you're doing a lot of running, is the hip flexors. If your hip flexors are tight, they're going to create problems and tightness in your back and your quads and your knees. So you want to make sure everything is stretched out. You want to work up into the low back good nice stretch and strengthening um, up, up to the point of the game. Um, you want to work it up into the um, um, all parts of your upper body, your arms, your triceps, your biceps, your, 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 your forearms, your fingers, um, all the way up into your neck and a relaxation and a good peace of mind. Like Victor Brick Jacobs says, the bamboo! You want to be like the bamboo, strong but the hollow center, you want to be very mellow.